Hey, over here in the Weather Center with Michelle Muscatello, I want to see a big smile on that face. <laughs> hey, I'm happy because it is dry, the sky <laughs> is blue, the sun is out, and we are going to keep mm -hmm. some of this dry air going right into the weekend, Vince. Beautiful. Looking good at least the next couple of days. Let's go ahead and take a look at the details here. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar across the coastline, 95 to 95, and it's a beautiful day out. We have a ton of sun with temperatures that have recovered nicely. We started out the morning teens and 20s. We're back to 35 in Providence. Sure sign that February sun has a little bit more punch to it. West northwest winds at 14 miles per hour. Look at what our weather spotters have to say. Jim in West Warwick says not a cloud in the sky at 31. Brad in Cumberland's up to 33 describes it as a beautiful day. And Robert in Fall River 34 with bright sunshine. We'll ride it out here, show you satellite and radar. This area of low pressure spinning up in the Canadian Maritimes, just close enough to us with high pressure to our west to help generate a northwest wind, a nice drying wind for us. And so the sun is out all across uh, New England for today. That's not the case in the deep south. They're dealing with some rare snow in portions of the deep south. Low pressure riding up across Florida today. Even the Florida Panhandle anticipating one inch of snow today, enough to close some schools there. It looks like they may be getting some sleet right now. And Charleston, South Carolina, as far east as the coast, could see one to three inches of snow and as much as three to six back towards uh, 95 through South Carolina. But this storm system will stay south of us, not a bother. We stay dry for the next couple of days, and that pattern lasts through Sunday. This afternoon, dry and breezy, mostly sunny, mid-upper 30s for highs. I've got us at 36 in Newport, about 35 in Coventry. Northern Rhode Island, your highs for today right around 34 in Burville. Nice day, breezy at times. Still that northwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour, but with some higher gusts and slightly higher winds as you head out towards the Cape and the islands. So a bit gusty in Martha's Vineyard at 37. Taunton, a good looking afternoon at 35. Overnight tonight, clear skies, lighter winds, and a colder night ahead. The lows dropping down to about 15 to 20. So into the teens in a lot of areas. But then again, Saturday and Sunday, nice recoveries, mid-30s on Saturday. Saturday under partly cloudy skies and for Valentine's Day on Sunday it does look lovely at 37 degrees. Now we're looking ahead. It's a school vacation week and perhaps a long weekend for a lot of folks Monday with President's Day. There's going to be yet another storm system moving across the mid-Atlantic so yeah possibly more snow for DC and Philadelphia. The question for us Monday night and Tuesday morning will be how close does the storm come? Close enough possibly to bring us some light snow so that's what we'll be tracking over the course of the weekend and on Monday. So check back in over the next couple of days as we continue to watch this system. About 37 for your high today, 36 for Saturday. Again, nights tonight in the teens. And then it looks like 20s overnight next few nights after that. 37 for your high on Sunday under partly cloudy skies. Right now, if we were to see some snow, uh, the timing would be later Monday night into at least the morning and early afternoon on Tuesday. Again, one of those very track dependent storm systems. Beyond that, it looks like more of the same. A day like today for Wednesday and Thursday with a high in the mid and upper 30s. Mm. Your updated forecast and live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar 24 hours a day on the pinpoint weather station Cox Digital Cable Channel 125. You know, in the end, those yes. last couple of storms that have moved across the mid Atlantic have trended further south. So we'll see if that same uh, trend holds. At least for today, what do they say? Life's so bright, I gotta wear shades. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. Now,